The Titans cannot leave the 2024 draft without addressing what need Christopher. You know, I, you look at them. I don't know if there's anything that just pops to you where you go, oh, they're desperate, right? Uh, it's a well-rounded roster. I think the biggest thing you look at and why we hear, I mean, tackle is, is certainly something to think about. I think that that's a position there that's, you know, still an unknown, right? You know, you look at it right now, there is Dillard, right? He was there. I don't, I don't think he impressed them so much to where they think he's a long-term answer there. They got the big guy, Nicholas petit Ferret, right, from uh, Ohio State. They drafted a few years ago. Do they think he's a long-term? There certainly seems to be a void at tackle. That's why I think everybody has Joe Walt going there at number seven, right? So I, I certainly could see the, the tackle's got to be something addressed at some point, either at seven or 38. I think that would be the big thing I would look at. And then after that, Mike, you know, again, and maybe another edge rusher to go along with a Harold Landry if they want to look at it that way, right? Uh, you know, running back, they're okay. Wide receiver, again, could they add some depth and some other people? DeAndre Hopkins getting up there in age, we know that, but it's him, Traylon Burks, and Calvin Ridley. You know, I kind of look at it as like offensive line tackle specifically, and then maybe another defensive line difference maker, edge guy, right? Because they got Arden Key over there uh, opposite of Harold Landry. I'm always going to be a big proponent of beefing up the offensive line when you've got a young quarterback who That's you right. are trying to evaluate to see what his ceiling is. It's the Callahan Especially family. He's got, that, right. he's got that, that inclination to run the ball. And remember last year at some point, Vrabel had to show him video of all the quarterbacks getting blown up by being a little too stubborn right. with their efforts to run the football when maybe they should have just hit the deck or gotten out of bounds. So you want to keep Will Levis healthy so we can just see what he has. You look at their roster. They're low-key pretty good. That's what it's I mean. Just it's a question not, of keeping everybody healthy. Yes, right, right. And so you look at it and you go, well, there's not huge holes here, right? There's not. There's not one thing you look at like we've had some teams where you go, like, this has to be addressed. There is an issue. I think clearly tackle is that position when you just look at the one guy, one area to go, wait, there could be a clear upgrade there. Right, and I think that's why everybody's got Joe Walt penciled in. Plus, you add in the fact of the things you're talking about, young quarterback, and then it's hey, it's Bill Callahan's uh, the offensive line coach, right? He's he's one of the best O line coaches in the history of football. You would think he'd want to probably improve that unit, help that young quarterback, help out his son, the head coach, with a running game and make life a little easier that way. I think that's the big thing I look at. But yeah, nothing glaring, right? You know, middle linebacker maybe is another area to look at. They lost Al, Sh you know, Shazier, right, to the Texans in free agency. Uh, they signed Kenneth Murray. Right, so yes. and Kenneth Murray, not for a big time contract. He's kind of been a disappointment as far as first round picks are concerned. So I could see middle linebacker being another area they need to address. It's not a great middle linebacker draft. I don't think you're gonna find anybody that's gonna help your team out immediately. You mentioned receiver as well. DeAndre Hopkins closer to the end. Calvin Ridley, the big addition they had in free agency. Traylon Burks is the guy. This is year three. This it's is upper it. out big basically year. for him. And right. the new offensive coordinator said yesterday he's going to have to earn his opportunities. Nothing is going to be handed to him just because he was the first round pick that replaced A.J. Brown when they did the neck twitch trade a couple of years ago on the first <laughs> night of the draft. The neck and, twitch and it trade. Just, it just, it, I mean, in hindsight, Vrabel was exactly right. You, you, you drafted a guy who became a great receiver. It's time to pay him. Instead of paying him, you're going to trade him for the first round pick that you used to replace him with. And there's no guarantee that guy you draft is going to be as good as the guy that you shipped away. And that's what's happened. Traylon Burks has not filled the shoes of A.J. Brown. And part of the reason is you put a lot of pressure on the guy coming through the door to be A.J. Brown. Young guy coming in. Hey, it's not just go be the best player you can be. Go be A.J. Brown. Well, I'm just getting started. What am I supposed to do? This is the year where he needs to do what, what he can do to earn his spot long-term on the Titans roster. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.